Welcome to this tutorial on how to use Gemini AI. Gemini is Google's largest and most capable AI that can process images, video, text, audio, and code. It claims to surpass the top AI chatbots like ChatGPT and Microsoft's co-pilot Bing Chat. In this video, I'll quickly show you what it is and how to use it. First, let's see a quick demo. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. Which way should the duck go? Going left leads to a duck, which is a friend. Going right leads to a bear, which is a foe. It is better to make friends than foes, so the duck should go left. <laughs> Smart choice. To learn more about it, let's go to deepmind.google. Click Explore More. What makes Gemini really stand out is the multimodality. Reasoning seamlessly across text, images, video, audio, and code. Google has built three versions of Gemini with three different set of skills. The largest, Ultra, is designed to tackle complex tasks and will debut in 2024. It will run on their cloud servers and you'll be able to get access to the API the same way you would as the ChatGPT, and most probably at around the same price point. Pro, the mid-tier offering, has been rolled out to the bar chatbot and will continue rolling out to many more Google products in the coming months. The nano version of Gemini is the smallest version that run locally on devices such as Pixel 8 Pro smartphone and will power features such as AI capabilities to smartphone camera, summarizing audio recordings and offering suggested text responses in WhatsApp. All right, let's get you set up so that you can start using this revolutionary technology. The very first step You'll open your browser and type in bard.google.com. Despite the premium sounding name, the Gemini Pro update to Bard is free to use. In order to use it, you'll need an account with Google. If you already have a Google account, click sign in. And once you're signed in, you'll get this interface. Now you can pick a suggestion or start asking it questions. Let's ask it if it's using Gemini yet. Are you using Gemini? It's even got sense of humor. Uh, Bard is on Gemini Pro in English across most of the world as of December 6, 2023. One of the current strengths of Bard is that the integration with other Google services. You can use an add Gmail tag in your prompt, for example, to have chatbot summarize your daily messages, or you can use at YouTube tag to explore topics with videos. Let's check Gemini's vision. Let me attach an image and check if Gemini can see what's in the photo. The image you sent is a logo for coding money, which is a website and YouTube channel that teaches people how to code and make money online. The logo is a simple combination of the words coding and money with a dollar sign in the middle. The text is arranged in a way that suggests that coding can lead to money and vice versa. The logo is also visually appealing with a clean and modern design. Overall, the coding money logo is a well-designed and effective logo that accurately reflects the company's brand and mission. Currently, we can upload only images. However, in 2024, Bard Advanced will debut which will be a new experience powered by Gemini's most capable model. With Gemini Ultra, as it's called, it will be able to understand and act on different types of information, including text, images, audio, video, and code. It'll have multimodal reasoning capabilities. Google says, in addition to understanding audio and video content, Gemini Ultra can also understand, explain, and generate high-quality code in popular programming languages. Let's see if Gemini can make an interactive demo in JavaScript. OK, here we go. A common algorithm for this is called a fractal tree. OK, this is pretty cool. 
Gemini even provided a slider, so I can change and move the fractals. It even provided me with the actual code. Nice. This upgrade seems to be the one to wait for. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next video, please subscribe and I hope to see you soon.